I love this. We Calgarians take pride in our work, in our outdoor spaces, and we put a lot of time and effort into making comfortable, beautiful homes. Can't wait. We also love our water features. Beautiful. And that's where we come in. From crazy indoor water features to crafting your own outdoor nature paradise. That's what we do. Join us as we show you what you can have with some imagination, heavy machinery, and skillful hands. We, we are Water by Design. Hey, Serenity Park. <laughs> Change his email just around it. Right. Yeah, the parks. Greg at the parks now. So our big time focal is the pool room inside out and then obviously the upper deck here, the dining room and then the bedroom and being able to hear the water. I just thought potential and opportunity and, and look at this space and I, all those trees for the backdrop. I mean, oh man, I just, I just couldn't wait to get in there and get dirty. The getaway. Yeah, yeah, like you're just in your own little space there. It's so cool. And see the water and those waterfalls and everything lit up at night. So I'm focusing on this spot over here being the main focal point of everything else amongst the other multiple focal points that we have. My um, favorite part of that one is the setting. Being too. in that forest and like just the privacy of it, like you're in your own little world and it's just, it's such an incredible feature. The place itself is called the Parks. The Parks? The Parks. P-A-R-K-S? Correct, yeah. And we'll work with that. Yeah. But I'll come up with something catchy that's suitable for the feature mm -hmm. and uh, what we're building out here. <laughs> I just had to make sure we were on the same page. Yeah. yeah. What is the other way to spell that? Yeah. <laughs> the parts? Like, the parts. parts. <laughs> <laughs> just building our retaining walls now, Greg. We're going to be doing multi levels uh, for this water feature. So the pool room's awesome, and then he's got a hot tub in there, obviously, that they hang out uh, in a lot. So the focal point of the water feature looking uh, out the window from inside was, was key in building this. So not only getting that nice uh, flow of water from outside, but also seeing it from inside the house as well. And why the bubblers were so key in part of the design, because yeah. from the pool house you get the bubblers. Yeah, and you can just get that 360 focal, and we can manipulate the tops and just make the water flow the way we want it to. So. We're going to have a bubbler feature at the top to start everything out. Water coming up the middle, out and down, all uplit. Focal point for that is going to be the whole property, but mainly out of the pool room, which is the center window right there beside the chimney. We did have to take down some trees to create some space. We yeah. tried to not have to do that because we never want to disrupt nature, nature, so to speak. But but you know, to make nature, sometimes you have to Kill adjust it. nature a little bit. Easy. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible uh, space, tons of potential, and uh, a really good client. He, I was able to get in his mind and see his vision, and uh, he was easy to work with. I've uh, seen Kevin a few times through some different trade shows. Uh, I've lived out here for about three years, and I've actually seen Kevin for about five years now. Uh, I've always liked water features and, you know, crossing paths again with his booth at the home show, seeing some of his work, speaking with him uh, occasionally through that, moving out to this property, starting the pool edition, you know, and, and the vision of what water features uh, that, that I was looking for and being able to speak with Kevin and go through that visualization process. Uh, Kevin is a very excitable person, very very animated and you know really to bring things in life through conversation it's been awesome to work with. Encasing the feature all the different levels was a challenge on that when we first got started it was just like building these levels and, and, and making our encasing rock walls and just making everything flow look natural but again it's all about the water and the pooling and, and just making those levels so really tricky on on this project and also the access because of the tree line in the back we couldn't get in behind as much as we wanted to so, so that also made it tough and, and building the feature in sections uh, as we worked our way down. Well, a lot of clients don't realize how difficult it is to build the way we build, but you know, there's always a way, and we always find that way. So, so this is our framer, right? What's that? This is our framer. 
I think so, on yeah. the other side. So then we want to basically grab our level, ribbon tape, some paint. We'll just come mark, I'll just hold this here because yeah. you want to come mark it. We got tons of room. Let's just see how big the stream bed is. Spray measure twice. Again, super tricky on that one, especially when you're building that encasing. You don't want to bottleneck things and then be into the waterfall process, stream bed process, and just find you don't have enough space and things are too tight. No, um, measure, re-measure, and, and, and make sure we're on point. Super important. Yeah, it's the first step, but it defines everything you're doing after that point. So whatever you set up, that's those are your limitations at that point. Always excited when new rock comes, especially this stuff. Need a truck or a fleet for a seasonal job? Don't lease it, rent it. Shag and Nappy GM now offers short term rentals for our entire lineup of Chevy and GM trucks. Shag and Nappy GM and Cobalt Rentals. This is the new way. We need to replace our kitchen cabinets. You've come to the right place. We have an idea, but you can sit down with one of our designers. That's one way we try to make your life easier. I don't want to be assembling cabinets on my weekend. Hey, the only Ellen you'll ever need is that guy. Renovating is fast and easy with the help of our cabinet experts. I love these cabinets. No longer a contractor's best kept secret. We provide pre-assembled cabinets right this. here in the yes, great city of Calgary. Yep. Get your cabinets right here. We at the Landscape Artists have been transforming Calgary landscapes for 40 years, serving this city and surrounding areas with smartly designed creative outdoor living spaces. Crafting your outdoor oasis has never been easier with amazing results. You'll enjoy working with our creative design team as we take your vision from dream to a reality. You deserve a place to unwind, a place to think, and a wonderful place to entertain. Call our firm today for your free consultation. The Landscape Artist, award-winning design and construction. I've done a major renovation before and I met them and I was just so comfortable with them. Well, this is my sanctuary and I want a peaceful, quiet place. I wanted a place that's welcoming. I love having company and especially my family. It's, that's the most important thing. Every Sunday, usually my family's here. And uh, yeah, it, I just wanted a place where we can all be together. Always excited when new rock comes, especially this stuff. Um, this rock was hard to find. I actually scouted it out. Um, the place called Lake McGregor uh, came across some beautiful rocks. Some guys were working, building some bridges and whatnot on the Little Bow, which is a river out there. Jumped out of my truck, went and asked him who the foreman was. Long story short, uh, he gave me the number to the local gravel pit. I went out and. Uh, looked at these rocks here that you're gonna see in a moment and uh, just fell in love with them. They're beautiful, they got really nice color, texture. Some of them even have some moss and lichen on them. So the perfect rock for our ponds and water features. Rock hunting, so important. Um, just, you know, stumbling across rocks with characters, colors, large boulders, smaller boulders, and just finding out where they come from, where the quarry is, and how I can get my hands on them so we can use them in our water features. Yeah, when you're way out there too, <laughs> finding something that's close to the job site that is still beautiful is, yeah. you know, you get lucky sometimes. You get lucky. This is Fieldstone, AKA Pond Rock, Water by Design Pond Rock. That's what I was talking about. Right now it's dusty and dirty, but once it's wet and clean, it just pops and it's beautiful. Um, this has a little more of that red and brown tone. I've actually got some stuff in my trailer I could show you that's more of that blue-gray tone. So the mixture of rock is really going to complement each other. Just into Rockhead, just thinking about the rocks, talking about the rocks, the imagining where they're going to go. And I like to use my hands all the time when I'm talking because it just helps me with what I'm talking about. 
And then when we get into our pebbles on this one, I'm going with a blue gray as well to calm down those reds just to get that natural uh, look that Greg the homeowner is going for out here. Uh, when you look at this space, I mean, minus all the construction right now, but once all the construction is complete, it's going to feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere. You're out in nature and, and we're trying to create Greg's own little backyard oasis here. So let's go check it out. Greg. Greg's goats! Yeah. They were amazing! Yeah. <laughs> we'd show up every morning, we'd start working, we're warming up the machines, and we hear, bah! And after a while, it was kind of funny because it sounded like the goats were actually saying, Kevin! Adrian! <laughs> they were actually, uh, they were really cool to have on site and, and a nice little touch to, to working on that job site. Made it, made it more interesting. He loves the animals. The animals are all over the place. In nature, making nature. Hashtag. Hashtag. Is that the hashtag? Yeah. Hashtag. This is where my five bubblers are going to go. Those are those tall basalt columns that I have cored through the center. And then I have bold on top for my lights to uh, place in there. Basically, we're going to have our tallest one here. And then we're going to go the next uh, tallest one. And then the next one. And then the next one. And then the little guy in front. So. It's gonna be a big, impressive feature that's gonna take up more than this space. Therefore, I have to continue my retaining walls once we rock the pond, because as soon as I continue my retaining walls from here, I lose this access, which is the direct road we wanna to take to feed rock to the excavator for rocking the pond. Once I lose this access, the only way to get to the back it's through the trees and it's windy and it will take about 10 minutes each time we do a run back and forth. This will take a minute or two. Setting up for the focal points, talking design, thinking things through, and uh, you know, that's how we can make our water features, you know, the best they can be. Where we've left it at with the waterfall area is basically right there. So what I see is I come over here and my bubblers are gonna be with, matched up with that center window there. So that's the focal point for those bubblers. When Greg's in there in his hot tub, it's right behind that. So he'll be able to sit there, uh, relax, and he'll be able to see the water feature from behind. Yet you'll also be able to see it from the front and a full 360 focal walking up from the lower backyard or around the side of the house, around the addition. It doesn't matter where you are, those bubblers are gonna look awesome from every which angle. We're gonna have a little waterfall that's gonna go into a holding pool, which is also gonna be very slow. Different speeds of water, different styles of waterfalls, fast, slow, fast flow, so, slow flow. That's tough to say, fast. And uh, it's just gonna create an effect that will be mesmerizing and, and, and just really appealing uh, to anybody who's experienced this oasis. <laughs> Fast flow, slow flow. Yo, you know, kind of a tongue twister, but uh, yeah, fast and slow flow is what we're going for. <laughs> it just, it just, it's, it's, it's action. It's fast, it's slow, it's, it's nature. We're gonna pick up speed here again, fast again, cascading sheet of water into another little holding pool. The reason I do these holding pools here is so when the water's falling down, it doesn't hit the liner, it actually lands in four or five inches of water. Creates a real cool effect with bubbling and it doesn't spread the rocks uh, apart, so therefore it doesn't expose the liner, which wouldn't be natural, would it? And then I bottleneck it a bit right before we get to our final waterfall, so the water picks up speed here for that giant spill into the pond. I left myself a lot of height here because the focal points are from Greg's bedroom, which is the top floor. I actually went up to Greg's bedroom um, to look out his window. Um, honestly, that's, that's where he lays down at night to go to sleep, and that's where he wakes up every morning. So not only to hear the waterfall, but to actually see it. I mean, come on. I mean, that's that's... That's important. Yeah! Yeah! Is your house feeling dated or are you just wanting a fresh new look? Whether you're listing a property, have multiple rentals that need maintenance, or want to make your home feel new again, with same day painting, you're in good hands. We love painting your homes and we have the manpower for any commercial job as well. 
With a 30-day warranty, six-point inspection, and a full color consultation, our dedicated team of qualified professionals will deliver the highest quality job. Same day painting. More than paint, it's peace of mind. How important is your roof to you? Eurashield, your smart choice in roofing. Eurashield, environmentally friendly rubber roofing systems. Hail, heat, wind, rain and snow, bring it on. Alberta made for any kind of extreme weather. For life. Built from recycled material. Built to endure. Built to cover your home in style. Eurashield, the best choice for your home. Greening the earth, one roof at a time. We didn't have to make them so comfortable, but we did. Toto. It worked out and I mean that rock was big and beautiful and you know we had to get it into place one way or another so it's just always nice when things work out uh, to our advantage and, and that time it did so. Very hard, very dense, which makes it uh, the perfect rock for a bubbler uh, style rock. So uh, freeze thaw, uh, the effects of winter and water over it all the time, it, it holds up really well. Almost for the focal in here, we almost want to go one, two, three, like in a row. Oh, it's incredible. The pool room is huge. Like you're just, you think you're walking into a pool room in someone's house and you're like, this looks like a pool room in a hotel. I mean, he's taking that pool room to the next level. It's, it's really amazing. Gotta have the view of the fountain. It just takes it up another notch. Well, it's sick because then it'll have the water coming down the back of all three. So you're going to have like a giant like rock wall of water from in here you know? and then four or five in front. Right. How, how high was it? Nine feet? It's nine feet. Yeah, so it's up there for it's up sure. There. Yeah, we've definitely done bigger and, and obviously smaller, but uh, yeah, it's definitely up there. Oh! Ah! <laughs> so good. So just really happy with the placement of that rock. It's always really hard butting them up to each other. You don't want to knock down the rock that you just placed. Uh, you don't want to compromise the rocks and uh, or the liner. So that one went in really nice. I was really happy at that particular moment. So when you're placing them and you get them down, it, you want to nail it every time, but it usually requires a lot of tweaking. And sometimes you're like, ah, it's like 90%. Should we leave it at 90 or no, nah, let's tweak it and try to make it 100. Boom! <laughs> Fat boy! Yeah, I love it. The girth. This last rock is, is important because it is that. Second last. Second, second to last. last. Yeah. But just that girthiness and, and, and just the focal point and that big upper sort of bowl and face. Just, yeah, awesome. And I will get full coverage. Maybe get rid of that. We'll see. I am the rock. I am the rock. <laughs> I am the light. I am the rock. Yeah. You know, just getting in my zone. I am the Prince of Stones. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Prince of Stones. <laughs> The 
the big dripper I know. has arrived to site, so it's go time. You know, we want to get the water in the feature, but we're at this point, we're not quite ready. So, yeah. In trouble getting my light cord through with my snake. Everything's jamming up on me. With that bottom transition. I'm hoping a little sunlight will do the trick. A little sunlight goes a long way. So, <laughs> yeah, it works. Large light in our upper bowl. It's beautiful. Last light. Magic pot light. Go into your home. <laughs> ah, magic pot lights. What else can I say? <laughs> They're magic. <laughs> Watch your feet. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> I wanted to have water down the back for for this focal point and I mean honestly like it's just like a water wall. The look on people's face at the end of the project just makes me feel so good. Hi, I'm Pete the Plumber, here with Mike from Tally Renovations. Mike, how do you tackle kitchens? Kitchens are really, really important. They're the absolute heart of the home, so they take a little extra time and care to get it right, because it's really the hub for your family, for your friends, and it's the gathering place for everything that you do. And with that attitude, that's why I always recommend Mike from Tally Renovations. Tally Renovations. Beautiful spaces built right. When you have a Canada outdoor kitchen, you get more out of life. Add a whole new dimension to how you use and enjoy your home. Enjoy family and friends and extend your outdoor cooking, dining, and living experience for up to the entire year. Canada Outdoor Kitchens. Dream big, live well. Welcome to Pacific Hut, where great food and great people come together. Classic Filipino dishes and delicious all-day breakfasts in comforting Filipino-style cooking. Bring your family and come in today. Pacific Hut. Your experience with Legacy Kitchen starts with a visit to our showroom, where our designers and craftsmen are committed to creating a kitchen that suits your home and lifestyle. We coordinate every aspect of the design and renovation process, taking you from an idea to reality. For over three decades, we have proudly served Calgary homeowners and home builders with premium kitchen design and renovations. Legacy Kitchens, we are with you all the way. The look on people's face at the end of the project just makes me feel so good. I mean, I can't even put it into words other than it, it's, it's an emotion, it's an energy, it's a vibe. Uh, and that for me is so rewarding. Uh, it's like the best tip you could ever have for building a water feature. Here we are, finally, back out at Greg Dole's house. Right. Wow, what can I say, this project is amazing. Turned out so good. Kind of like the full meal deal here. That's what I was gonna say. A little bit of everything that we do in one yeah. feature, right? Yeah. Bubbler, waterfall, pond, all in one. All in one. Holding pool, aquatic plants, koi fish, lilies, the total package. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I love about it. It really showcases everything we do. Water features have always been part of my life, actually. The previous residence prior to this, uh, I had a 500 gallon uh, pond which was uh, nothing compared to this. 
that you know when I saw this property uh, when I purchased it four years ago and the whole whole vision of what the whole property was going to be the water feature was a big part of that. Uh, seeing it again just so rewarding and, and just Greg's energy about the whole thing uh, just yeah awesome. And that was always part of it Greg really wanted to see those bubblers from inside the pool room when he's swimming when he's sitting in his hot tub so it was really important in the design process that not only a focal point from everywhere outside but inside the pool room looking out as well. So. Yeah absolutely and that's that's what I love about it too is because the bubblers from inside are just as amazing especially at night when the lights are on you get so much out of the bubblers inside and out and obviously when you're out here you get the sound of a bubbler that you, that's so different than a waterfall. Making people's lives better getting them out of the house and just enjoying the time around our water features. When we first met, he just started picking my brain, telling me ideas, thoughts that he had, things that he wanted to do, the property, the space. And, you know, I'm quite enthusiastic at those home shows. A and little bit, yeah. Yeah, I go all out to build those displays. I want to shake as many hands as I can, meet as many people, and just educate them on ponds, waterfalls, and water features, and what water by design is all about. You know, it's funny, some people, big reaction, like Kevin saying, crying, tears, emotional, can't believe it. And then some people that say, yeah, that looks great. Or, it's okay. And it's inside okay. I'm like, what do you mean it's okay? It's amazing! <laughs> and from there I think it led to our water feature tour. Most definitely. So I took Greg out to, what was it, three or four different features? In that day, yeah. 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 yeah, so we went out. I love to do this with my clients, tour around, show them different water features, introduce them to my clients. I mean, at the end of the day, our best salesmen become our clients because they love what we do. Then you start getting into the sweet waterfall effect. Oh, and this spill. I love it. Full sheet. Full sheet, baby. We love getting full sheets with our spills. I mean, it looks so much better. And again, the sheet falls into the holding pool. You get all those bubbles. We've got lights in there to uplight that sheet of water at nighttime. I mean, this little pocket, this little space is phenomenal. I love me some driftwood. Me too. Driftwood all over the place here. Again, bringing that natural wood aspect into the water feature to help incorporate what's going on all around it. Totally. He said to me, Kevin, when I wake up in the morning, and I get out of bed and I look out my window, I wanna see that waterfall. That is a very important focal point for right. me. And we delivered it, man. I know it and is. And then the bubbler's up top too, right? He gets the bubblers, then he gets the sheet of water, and then he gets the drop into the pond too. So there's all these focal points at different heights. And it's just, so yeah. So much to see, so much to take in. And all directed at the house where we want those focal points to be. But at the end of the day, we're all water lovers. And that's what we have in common with our clients is they're water lovers, we're water lovers. and. It's about telling them what we can do and showing them what we can do, but it's about delivering that yeah. product and that end result, which is what I love the most about my job. Uh, very inspirational through the whole process. Uh, Kevin's excitement, uh, his, his knowledge, through my, my visions of how I saw how things were gonna come out, that i uh, very happy with how, 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 how it actually came, came out at the end. Here. Oh wow, just standing down here, looking up at all the rock, the water feature, the stream bed, the bubblers, the different levels of rock. Man, it feels good to just stand back here and just look up at all our hard work and see yeah, it all just, come together, hey? I love the angle of this, like with the straight on spill, then you have the one going to the right, one going to the left, yeah. and then of course the bubblers up top. Like it's just, it's so crazy too. You're down here and you hear that spill and you don't even really get the bubblers because you're you're in this kind of zone, yeah. on zone. I just, I love that separation of sound. Awesome, love it. Good job, brother. Oh, yeah. So happy. yeah, 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 really happy and, and nailed it. And, and more importantly, I know the homeowners are very, very happy.